This is Tony K with my best Mac tips, and today we're going to talk about how to quickly add symbols and characters. You know, those ones normally not found on a regular keyboard. Let's get right to it. I'm going to give you a brief example before we dive into the specifics. Let's say that we'd like to add the cent sign to something like this. We go to the upper right to this little icon that looks like a calendar with an asterisk inside of it. Click on that and then again on Show Character Viewer. Now we get the box with many choices here and since we're looking for something that's a currency symbol we'll click on that. Search now until we come across what we're looking for, the cent sign. Double click there and it's inserted for us. It's quick and easy and now we'll get to some more specifics. So let's take a little time to explore the Character Viewer. On the left hand panel we're in the arrows section right now, many choices. You've also got a few parentheses and my favorite, punctuation. Currency symbols come in handy. Pictographs look great. Bullets and stars. Math symbols and there's absolutely tons of those. Then we've got letter-like symbols, emoji, and for those lovers of foreign languages we've got Latin. Another great thing on this left panel is the favorites. When you click on that, you'll get the ones that you've added to favorites. You do that by finding the one you want. Let's say it's a double question mark. Come over here, click Add to Favorites. We'll go back to Favorites. And there it is, my double question mark. You've also got the Recently Used, which you can click on, which shows you a whole list of the ones you've just been using. One of the great features of this little program is that it will give you the name of the symbol as you click on it. It says quadruple operator. Now most of the time you're going to be able to get the whole thing there is the infinity symbol. However, sometimes you're going to click on one of these and you won't be able to read the whole thing. What you can do in this case is right click on the symbol. It'll say copy character info. Then you left click on that. Now let's paste that into a Word file. It gives us a picture and it tells us exactly what it is. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you here again real soon.